So I'm here to get my teeth cleaned at the dentist's office, but I'm also wondering what are they gonna do here that I can't do at home, flossing and brushing. Hi. Hi Sarah, how are you? Good, I'm here to check in for my teeth cleaning. We are ready for you. Great. So I'd been to the dentist six months prior. However, before that, it had been probably five years. Why had it been so long? Not sure. Probably had to do with the fact that I assumed I was young and everything was no, a-okay. And I've been flossing too. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, in preparation for the dental visit. I'm here to see my dentist, Dr. Krishna Johnny. I've been told in the past that I may have a little bit of receding gums. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me just explain. I'm obsessing about my gums here because I've never had a cavity. If you've got inflammation or receding gums or bleeding, that can be an indication of systemic health problems. Hi, how are you, Dr. Doing Johnny? Well. I'm doing well. Good. How are you? Good. So I'm here for a teeth cleaning. Yes. Do it. Okay, good. I hope so. That's why I'm here. First off, we are going to be looking at the health of the gums. So the color, the consistency, how firm it is. Make sure that it's not too red. Okay. The best tip for healthy gums is flossing daily. So do I have receding gums and what's going on okay. there? You have a few spots of recession. The recession, the recession already. Enough with the recession! There's always a genetic component, so anything in the mouth, there can be a component of genetics you have no control over this. Some of it can be overbrushing, mm -hmm. so you're scrubbing, scouring your teeth. Another thing that we see really contribute to it is clenching and grinding your teeth. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm, you know, grinding away at night, I have no idea. Where I see your recession being the worst is on these teeth here. I can get a little bit extra sensitive to, again, because of not having enamel. Now, there's a difference between caring for your gums and caring for your teeth. It sounds like you can have problems, separate problems with each. That's for sure, okay. yes. We'll be basically looking for any areas that look dark, soft, look at old fillings, see if anything is broken. Now, you have very deep pits <laughs> in some of your teeth. Can we not, can we avoid the... Uh... The pits conversation. <laughs> Let's call them deep grooves. Which are certainly going to be prone to getting cavities. But any little dark spots that are stained, they show an indication of, of a place that you may not be brushing as well as you need to be. Okay, everything checked out. I had my six month cleaning and teeth look good. No cavities, don't need any fillings, don't need any sealants. The gums, I'm gonna step up my flossing and uh, that checks out though. And I've made my next appointment six months from now. I hope you do too. <laughs> this is Sarah Baldoff with US News and World Report, Associate Health and Medicine Editor.